morning guys happy tuesday thanks for checking out another uh check-in video um i got some stuff done uh working on mostly this week i've been uh bringing some of the code from the previous version of input mapper which was um part of the redo that i started there that was self-contained and complete and i've been starting to bring that stuff over um namely the uh, user account system and the macro system um not a whole lot to show there it's pretty much the same exact state as you guys last saw it in input mapper uh 1.6.10 um and i did a demo video a couple times showing off the macro system in there um so that's that hasn't really changed yet i haven't finished it yet i just brought it forward um but one thing that i have been working on um last couple days was to get the mouse simulation um, starting to work here in the new input mapper and changing a lot of the code to get rid of a lot of the, the issues that people were having when they emulated the mouse where it was jittering and um, it just wasn't behaving smooth which made it impossible to use for games. Um, <clears throat> so I've been working on that because I really want to try to um, narrow down the issues that it was having and uh, make it you know just a lot smoother uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show that off. Um, I'm going to be using the move controller here again, or the nav controller, um, since it's, it seems like it's, you know, perfect kind of handhold little controller to use for a mouse. So I'll go ahead and switch over here. And... I had a couple bugs that I think I fixed this morning. Hopefully, um... Hopefully those don't pop back up and it actually works here. Um, I've been working with Benjamin still. Um, I've gotten a little closer to helping him narrow down what the issues may be with the driver on this. Um, as far as it constantly trying to crash your computer. Uh, so hopefully we're getting close to getting that figured out. Um, Alright, so... Uh, I already have a mouse demo profile here, and that is um, just mouse left, right, up, and down here. Um, yeah, this still doesn't look pretty. i got to fix that a little more. Um, but that's what you might expect. Um, and since the mouse is its own thing, uh, it doesn't require me to have a output driver selected here. So... Uh, that's why none of the other controls are showing up under proper names. So I'm going to go ahead and assign the mouse demo profile here. And there you go. You can already see it there. It's, it's pretty smooth. It's uh, I have no idea how well this is recording and uploading to YouTube. Um, but it doesn't hitch like it used to, and that was a big problem. Um, I've also added a little bit of weight to it, which makes it feel... Uh, Makes it feel a little more natural and easier to control. Um, it has it has a tad bit of momentum to it, and I'm still dialing that stuff in. Um, it's it's going to take me a while to you know find the right balance that feels right, and then I got to you know expose some of the var variables so people can adjust it themselves. But uh, I'm still working on trying to get a nice baseline. But I'm getting close. Um, at least in Windows, it feels good. Um, how it feels in game. Uh, is going to be a completely different thing, and you know I'll have to try that out um, and narrow that down. But um, it's off to a good start. <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to go ahead and unplug this until before uh, it causes the computer to self-destruct uh, because of the driver issues it's having. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, a lot of the bugs that were showing up last week, I got those hammered out. Um, added some more of the missing icons and missing uh, control names, stuff like that. Uh, the macro system, like I said, I've started to pull it over here. Um, well, actually, it is pulled over. It's just uh, the macro system was never completed in the 1.6.10, at least the new macro system. So it's still at the same stage here. So we still have uh, the empty triggers, but, you know, the macro commands are still the same as what they were before. Uh couple missing icons we've got to fix those um, record functionality is still the same as it was so um, yeah 
nothing there has changed. It's just now it's brought forward. Um, and I'll continue to do that with the UAC system here. Um, but, yeah, that's about it. Um, this week, it's going to be um, hammering down the mouse uh, input should be done in the next, I mean, that probably won't even take the rest of the day. Uh, I can probably get that done pretty quick because now it's just a matter of tweaking variables and uh, a little uh, micro performance optimizations to get it as smooth as it possibly can be. Um, but, uh, I mean, that's about it. So... I'm going to reset here, and I'm going to try to stream out some Mass Effect 1 again. Uh, if you guys want to check that out, that'll be on Beam and YouTube and Twitch and Ustream. Uh, just look for Input Mapper on any of those, and uh, that'll be going up here. And uh, As long as it takes me to switch all my cabling over to the broadcast server. So, maybe in the next 30 minutes or so. Alright guys, have a good one. See you next week.